Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And for all you veterans out there, happy Veterans Day. I know it'll be probably a couple of days past Veterans Day before I post this up. And I've been for a, a little while since I've made a video. I've been trying to organize and straighten this <coughs> mess of a garage. I've been in this house for almost 24 years and Things have just piled up in here. I'm finally trying to straighten stuff out now that I'm retired. <clears throat> and the stuff I've found in here, oh my goodness. But uh, anyway, you'll see things kind of change in the background as I organize and get things straightened out and set up the way I want it to be. But uh, anyway, so here we are on Veterans Day 2021. And, uh, and we got a little review <clears throat> on this Smith & Wesson model 4006, 4006, 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, I picked this up a couple of months ago, and it's a good shooter, I'll tell you that. This obviously is um, officer-inspired inversion for the police back in the 1990s by Smith & Wesson, developing the Smith & Wesson 40 cartridge for this pistol right here. Now this is the standard, it's not the 4006 um, TSW, but uh, I think that has the rail, this does not. So we'll give you a little closer look. Let's make sure she's safe, so nothing in there. Nothing there, so we're clear. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of an interesting pistol, but it's a good shooter. And I'll show you, I went to the range, oh, it's been about a month. And so I'll put the range video in from, from this particular gun. But uh, um, this is a model 4006, as I indicated. And this one comes from the mid-1990s, according to the serial number. And it's got ambidextrous, I guess you could call it a safety, a detocker. Um, if it's down on safe, you're not going to have anything happen. It's just not going to do anything. Uh, when you're on fire, it is a double action, double action, and then single action pistol. And the double action trigger is, is pretty good. Straight follow through. And single action trigger is not bad. Okay. So this pistol is all stainless, as you can see, with these uh, plastic grips. The checkering is you know, somewhat aggressive. It does have some checkering in on the, the steel, stainless steel frame. This is all steel pistol. And as such, it is uh, heavier than your pistols that you see today. And with that in mind, the heavy 37 ounces empty, the recoil isn't too bad, but it is uh, this particular model, 10 plus one. I know some of them have 11 round magazines, but this one's a 10 plus one. I came with two mags, and uh, anyway, um, let's kind of take a look at it here. It's got rear serrations here, nothing on the front. It does have night sights. Now, as far as all old as this is, the night sights are still, you can still see them. They're getting a bit dim, but that's not bad for you know, 25 years. And it's in pretty good shape. It's got a few scuffs and things like that on it. As you can tell, as the grips do have a, a, a few little scuffs on it. But for the most part, this thing is in really good shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do a little uh, nuts and bolts breakdown on the thing and then uh, you know do a wrap up and show you the range and and we'll try and keep this video right around 10 minutes all right so here's the pistol um of course this is a semi-automatic 40 smith and wesson cartridge pistol uh browning type short recoil overall length is seven and a half inches the height is five and a half inches, so it's not too bad. It's about the size of Glock 19 or so. And barrel length is four inches, um, 37 inch ounces, uh, 37.5 ounces empty. 
course, if you load it up with a magazine with 10 plus one, you're looking at you know, over 42 ounces. Um, it has a steel um, slide and frame, stainless steel. Um, the sights are adjustable. And, uh, you know, here you see that's put in a dovetail. And <clears throat> these here, uh, well, it's not really, these aren't particularly adjustable here other than smacking them one side to the other. But, uh, let's see what else we got here. You notice the serrations on the front of the, the, the grip strap there and then on the front of the, the trigger uh, as well. Um, it is a double action, first shot, 12 pounds, uh, trigger pull, and then four and a half follow up from a single action. Uh, it does have a magazine disconnect, so if the magazine is out of the pistol, it's not going to shoot. Um, the trigger guard is slightly extended, <clears throat> and it does have a little reinforcement in the front and that checkering, as well as this front strap there. Um, magazine capacity is 10 or 11 rounds, depending on the model you got. <clears throat> Safety is an internal magazine disconnect, spring loaded, ambidextrous decocking lever, and uh, no manual safety. Firing pin plunger lock also. Um, of course, he had some of them made for the CHP police standard. There's the TSW version. This is not that. The TSW had a had an accessory rail at the bottom there. But uh, here you get a nice closer look at this Smith & Wesson Classic Model 4006 and 40 Smith & Wesson. Okay, we have a Smith 4006. Okay. There we go. That one. Well, it took me a minute to figure the sight picture, but this thing's doing pretty dang good, right from about seven, eight yards. Not bad for an oldie, but a goodie. Okay, so we're going to kind of take this thing down to verify she's empty. Yep, she is. So basically, you're going to, <clears throat> see if I'm straight up here, you're going to pull this back until this little notch gets right in the middle of that area there. And then you're gonna push it through with your finger and you'll notice the slide stop is coming out. Okay, almost reminiscent, reminiscent of a, a 1911. And then you're just gonna pull it forward. Now look at this. This thing is heavy duty. You're looking at <clears throat> steel, all steel, okay? No little tiny inserts. This is built to handle some rounds. And of course, the same with this. And uh, so you can see this quality handgun. And I'm not gonna pull it all the way down. Uh, this is one of those videos, but uh, you can see it's even got a little bit of a, a little plunger there. I guess you could say it's a shark absorber to help with the, the recoil, but it comes out uh, just as any other. Uh, the many pistols that you take down nowadays, and then just to put it back together. You're gonna pull that in, you're gonna push this down, because you want it to be able to get past both of those things there, and it might take a little bit, especially this one in the back. You might have to use a little bit of help to get that down. And then you're gonna, now yeah, this thing is steel in a the way. There you go. Well, you gotta remember that. You got two things you gotta push down. If you don't get them down, it's just not going. And then you get that right in here. Put your slide stop in. And 
there you go. So, notice it's not going to do anything because of the magazine disconnect. So, fairly easy to take down. You can see it's built like a tank. So, yeah. Kind of do a little wrap here um, on the uh, Smith & Wesson 4006. Um, of course, it was mainly designed for uh, law enforcement and, of course, the California Highway Patrol, many agencies in Nevada, <clears throat> parts of the West have used this. Some of them may still be using it. It was produced until uh, 2011, I think, uh, by Smith & Wesson. And... Uh, I think she, at last I read about it, the CHP has some training uh, pistols left that they use at their range, and uh, a couple of them have gone over 100,000 rounds. So these things are <clears throat> designed and built to handle shooting, okay? Whereas some of your polymers, no, they don't quite have it that way. Um, so anyway... As I indicated when I took this thing down, you can kind of see from the build as it's uh, taken apart as to uh, why it can handle that many rounds. But uh, <clears throat> if you ever get a chance to pick one of these things up, I say go for it. It's a good pistol. Uh, like I said, unless you like carrying a heavy brick on your side, I probably wouldn't carry it as a conceal because with you know a loaded magazine, you're looking at over 40 ounces and so but as a range gun or a gun to put in your glove box or home defense that sort of thing maybe this would be your ticket because they're floating around out there i know if they're going for about five five and a half uh, out on the open market uh, it's a piece of history and it it's a well-built fine uh, handling firearm of course, it's Smith & Wesson, so it's going to be a good shooter. So anyway, this is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas with my Smith & Wesson Model 4006. And as always, God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republic.